Uh, Tim Shaw, just about uh, maybe what went in that decision, maybe how special it is for both the, the Saints and the Titans to represent some of their heroes. Well, I think, first of all, um, we're excited to be able to have Tim uh, Tim Shaw be our honorary captain. Um, be at the coin toss before the game, uh, travel down there, be a part of our uh, pregame um, activities. Um, obviously, Steve Gleason and what he means to, to New Orleans and to the Saints. And so hopefully we can bring awareness to, um, you know, uh, an awful disease uh, that, that is, you know, taking two warriors uh, and, and put them in a chair. But they're, they're fighting their own fight and, and spreading the word and, and raising a lot of money. So we're excited to be able to do that. Uh, and appreciate the Saints and what they've done, uh, Dennis Allen and the organization in, in New Orleans, to be able to, to make this all happen. I think Stretch came to me during the break in the summer, and or we talked, and just you know, Stretch had a great idea to be able to um, you know see if they were willing to do it. Reached out to Dennis, and he talked to Mickey, and you know, very quickly. Uh, was able to, to get that in, in motion. So I appreciate their willingness to, to try to be able to do that. How, how would you describe maybe the impact Tim's had on you since you've been here, maybe on the team as the years go by? Um, you know, being able just to see uh, firsthand what that disease can do um, from the time that I got here to where now Tim is. And, um, you know, it, it's just great that he can come in here, uh, talk through special teams, watch tape, and um, I think it's always just a great reminder of uh, how lucky we are, how fortunate we are, you know, that we get to do what we do, uh, be able to play this game and coach this game. What does it say about Tim that despite his circumstances, he still loves the game of football and to be around it? Well, it's, it's his life, you know. You watch, you see his family, you know, grew up playing football, and, and Tim's career, you know, just a, just a grinder and being on different teams and figuring out a way to make it make an impact on special teams and um, just his willingness to come here and be here in the heat and training camp and sit through meetings and give his notes and Tim's tips and all the things that we do. And, you know, so Craig Ackerman and his staff have really uh, opened up their doors to, to Tim. Well, wanted to make sure, one, that he wanted to do it. You know, it's a, it's a big process, you know, traveling down there and going through all that. That's a lot out of his normal routine. And so I think, first of all, just showing him the respect and asking him if that was something that he would want to do. And uh, just like the football camp here, because we may think it's a great idea, but, you know, Tim may not. And so I think that was the first thing that we wanted to do. And he was all for it. And I know that him and his family are excited to be able to go down there and watch the game with Steve and his family. You mentioned Tim's tip. So does each week does he give uh, maybe some keys? Or, or well, you know, he has conversations with Auk and, and, uh, and, and Levine and Tom Quinn. And so then, you know, he'll have his ideas or things that he can tell the players that, that help him with. And, you know, we give, <laughs> we give those out to the guys. How much will this figure help bring attention to the ALS? Well, I, I hope, you know, anything could, could help. You know, I think it's, I mean, a couple years ago, I put up Tim's picture from when he played, you know, with the guys that hadn't been here and didn't know who the guy that was in the wheelchair and with a trach tube and, and a computer screen in front of him, they didn't know. And so my way of introducing Tim was to show him this, this linebacker jacked up and sweat and grass stains and everything. And Dennis asked him if they knew who that was. And they, they didn't. I didn't expect them to. And I said, well, it's the same guy that's sitting over there. And that's the, the shock. And I think if we can just understand that, you know, I mean, that these two athletes, and there's a lot of people, but these are guys that, you know, I know and I've watched Steve play and I've watched Tim play, you know, that go from, you know, these incredible athletes and physical players running around, uh, crashing into people, and then something that just takes it away pretty sudden. So um, hopefully it brings great awareness to it. How did you think the week went? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I thought Wednesday, you know, Monday, Wednesday, it's a longer week than what we're used to. Um, and I thought today was, you know, was was our best day. I thought, you know, we were efficient. We were urgent. Um, not perfect. Never will be. But I, and I felt like the energy was there and it, we're excited to, you know, continue to prepare and then ultimately uh, play on Sunday. What are you going to do for backup quarterback tonight? Well, we'll have the game day. Uh, 90 minutes before um, the situation.
is there something that you have to be more cognizant of when you've got that much extra time in preparation for a game? Well, just continue to focus, you know, not chasing ghosts, continue to focus on fundamentals, continue to focus on situations uh, as a whole. There's a lot of things that come up week one, you know. You look at Pittsburgh and Cincinnati last year. You know, Cincinnati scores in the last play of regulation. Uh, they attempt an extra point with their third tight end and kick gets blocked. And they miss another kick in overtime because they're working with a backup snapper. Uh, Pittsburgh goes down, executes a hurry-up situation, clocks the ball, kicks a 53-yarder. There's, every, there's going to be something like that that's going to happen in our game that we're going to have to understand what it is and be able to execute it. With the idea of getting off to a quick start, especially after you know so long since you guys played in a game, do you do anything different this week? Well, we've tried to practice like that. You know, I mean, we've tried to to practice with with the noise and understand the environment. And you know, I think the biggest thing will just be our execution and, and not and not sitting there and waiting uh, for them. It's a good defense with with excellent players and a good s scheme. And you know, we'll have to have to be aggressive in our actions, no matter what we call. Is anything about uh, DeAndre's presence so far surprised you? I mean, has it been about what you expected or anything? Uh... Well, I mean, when you when you sign players, I think that you know, we've said this before that you want them to want to be here, right? So that's evident uh, by his actions and conversations and his work each and every day. So um, I don't think it surprised me, no. So I just, when you have guys that want to be here, those that's, the, that's what you get. Anybody that's uh, been ruled out? Or that's, not your question. that's not your question. That's not your question. Trey Avery will be ruled out. That'll be it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Being familiar with this offense, I feel good. Obviously, there are some new things, uh, you know, that I didn't used to run. So having TK uh, and, and Ron, who play a lot of ball, help me, uh, you know, get acclimated. Feels good. Anything surprise you or different than what you thought it would be, whether it's working with Coach Brave or Tannehill or anything like that? Uh, nah, those guys win. They won. Uh, you know, they did it when I was in Houston. They won games. They did it when I was in Arizona. So, uh same mindset that I expected. Uh, you know, those guys are competitive. You've been a big volume guy. You think this offense would be able to get you the ball a lot? I'm just here trying to do whatever I can to help this team win. Uh, give me the ball to block. With that matchup with Marshawn Lattimore, you guys have had that before. How much are you looking forward to that? Uh, it's just another game to me, and I really don't put too much emphasis on uh, who's guarding me. I like the group around you, for you know, from Traylon to, to Nick to, to Chris, and, and have you guys kind of bonded through this process. Oh, it's been a good bonding process, you know, being with a lot of these guys. Uh, you know, I knew some of them. Uh, I know Chris played some ball before, uh, you know, so you know, it's, it feels good, just, you know, actually being able to see what they can do out there. And I feel like, uh, you know, we're excited. Everybody's excited to go out and uh, put on film. You said Derek was one of the guys that you that kind of was a reason you came here. How excited are you to line up as his teammate on Sunday? Uh, very excited. One of the best players in the NFL. How could I not be excited to play with him? You talked in the magazine story that just came out about some of the teams that didn't even return your calls when, when you were feeling out the market. How'd that leave you feeling that, that some teams didn't even consider you? Uh, I'm a competitor, so, uh, you know, all other 31 teams, you know, uh, I'm trying my best, you know, to go out and, uh, and beat them. It's my job. Rob Moore has said that one of the things that impressed him about you was your ability to always create space. And watching that, like, I, I liken it to Dennis Robin. so I, I have to ask you, like, do you have, like, a, a hoopers background or anything like that? Yeah, I play ball a little bit, not too much. You know, I only play one year at Clemson. Uh, you know, I set the bench most of the time, so I wouldn't say it's a background career. But uh, you know, just trying to go up and get the ball and, and play football. You know, that's my that's that's what I do. Uh, I'm not I'm not really a burner, uh, but you know, I, I get the separation I need. Do you liken it more to being a rebounder or more to like catching the hoop and dunk? As far as like always being in a position to get to the ball. I think it's more so like a rebound. You know, just knowing who's around you and feeling for it. Uh, you know. Not pushing off and you know not using your hands too much, but just having that awareness on who's around you. How advanced is your relationship with Ryan after after a full time? Uh, you know, Ryan and I both play a lot of ball, so uh, you know you guys will see uh, this this coming Sunday. Grable talks about you know when 
signing guys, he, he wants guys that want to be here. Is Mario, you know, you feel like this is the best place for you in terms of, you know, wanting to be here and just being the right fit for you? Absolutely. Why? Um, they won games. They win games. Great organization. Ran, um, Vrabel, TK, everybody. What have, you learned, what have you learned about Mike as a coach once you've gotten to meeting rooms with uh, I knew Mike before, you know, he was here as a coach, and uh, he's the same Mike that I knew in Houston. Uh, he's competitive, he tried to get the best out of everybody.